everybody. This is Chuck and welcome back to my shop. Appreciate you stopping by and happy Thanksgiving. So this is just a quick uh, video for Thanksgiving for something for you guys to enjoy over the holiday. Um, this is going to be a voiceover video on the frame. As you can see right now, uh, it's cleaned up and uh, you can see all the various parts here. And I'm just looking at how I'm going to actually handle the actual swivel mechanism and the handle uh, to drive it. Basically similar to the Holdridge. So hope you enjoy the uh, video. Uh, as I said, it's just a quick voiceover showing uh, some, some of the machining here on the uh, frame. Again, happy Thanksgiving and thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. This video was showing how I set up the frame on the pallet. You can see I have the uh, wiki there, wiki, um, showing that it's uh, parallel with the pallet and uh, the shim underneath uh, to keep the support finger there off of the pallet so that the uh, unit is parallel to the pallet and then I can go ahead and do my machining. Uh, all in all, it worked out pretty well. I thought I would show this video. I had to fix my clock, and I looked up, and there was Mike. That's what Tim called him. Friends, call me Sully. Sorry. I heard someone say roar, so I just kind of went for it. Sorry. If you want to be scary, pick out a look scary. Let the scary out. This was a thing we did every night as he went to bed, played with that toy, and uh, there he is behind me in the shop. Here are a couple of clips where I'm machining the inside of the uh, frame, the radius on the frame or the circumference on the frame. I couldn't put it on the rotary table uh, because it's not a complete circle. So I figured out to using the boring head, I could uh, adjust the boring head and machine the inside of this uh, frame unit here. Uh, it worked out well. It was uh, the only way that I could actually get in there and do it. Um, there is no dimensions, so it was really difficult to even begin to figure out how to do it on the rotary table. Um, so there's a second uh, clip here that will go through it again, and uh, the volume will be on just for a warning.
No, I mentioned that there was no dimensions. Um, so I had to figure out how to cut the outside of this frame on the rotary table. So basically, I set it by eye. Um, I knew the center of my rotary table. And then I basically kept adjusting and adjusting. And uh, you can see I put a felt marker in the uh, quill and needed to check out to make sure that I was on the frame correctly. And you can see I also had to move my mounts to the inside of the frame to hold it on the pallet. All in all, uh, it uh, kept Bozo out of the shop, and that was the uh, main thing here. You can see the uh, barrels have been machined prior. Kind of a rerun here but i thought i had done a video on actually machining the rest of the the uh, attachment frame piece there uh, cleaning that up and getting it down to height but i did not but uh, you can see the uh, outside is completed well i thought long and hard about machining the barrels and I came up with this uh, idea right here. I took my pallet and basically made a slide that I could slide this back and forth if I needed to, pinched on both sides, then a hold down on it, and was looking at actually holding the pallet down onto the table. But it turned out I didn't have to do that. And basically mounted the uh, piece the two frames, the two, the yoke and the frame. And with the belt grinder here, of course, I can adjust the height of how much belt is actually touching. And then basically, that's how I ended up cleaning up the barrels rather than machining them. Uh, worked out real slick, uh, very quick to do compared to the amount of time it would have took me to try to set it up in the rotary table and uh, get it to work out. And then you can see here I've been hand filing uh, all of the uh, all of the edges and cleaning up all the edges. And it uh, had a little quick visit to the glass beater. So I thought I'd show you that. It worked out well. The, uh, the belt grinder is such a handy tool to have. Happy to have it here in the shop.